G'day guys, welcome to Collector Craving. I'm going to show you how to paint up the Star Wars fleet troopers from the Rebel Force of the Star Wars Legion tabletop game. I'm going to show you the methods I used, the colours I used, so let's get cracking right now. So we're just chucking on the uh, stuff for the base, um, just smoothing it out nicely so that it's nice and even and flat, not too chunky, so that the miniatures will actually sit on there nicely. So I just then took a paper towel and cleaned all the edges and so that we could then paint that ring around the side. I mean, you can paint a, one of the rings red if you want to distinguish between a normal trooper and a, a captain or something. So here we're just chucking on the base coat. This is going to be the darkest colour of blue we use for the shirt. Uh, we're just going to get that on there nice and thin, watered down a little bit. We don't want to clog up any um, details because we're going to dry brush the detail. So Kislev Flesh, that is the uh, the base coat for the skin. So that's going to be the, the darkest colour that we use for the skin. We're only going to use two colours as to not make it too difficult or too, too much of a long process. So that do it. it will be nice and easy. Alright, so we got the Carrick Stone for the base colour of the pants, which is a, a nice sort of dark sandy colour, which is going to work well for the, the deepest colour at the lowest points of the, the pants. So once again, thin down the paint a little bit. Um, if you are using the Vallejo Model Air, they're already a little bit thin. They're intent, intended for airbrushing, so they're not so thick. Alright, so after the... the um, base coat of the pants we're getting the light tone uh, we've just mixed it with a little bit of the wash medium so that um, it's not too thick and it's not too dark So we're just going in with the dry brush now, dry brushing that uh, colour on there, picking up all the high spots. Um, we will do another colour after this just to pick up the even higher bits or just to tone it out a little bit. So just dry brush this on, um, don't worry about too much over, over brush because you'll clean it up afterwards. So we're just going over the colour we just done with the Ulth One Grey. Um, we're just highlighting that, just brushing it on there. You can do a very light dry brush if you just want the high bits, or you can keep going and, and tone it out a bit like I've done here. I've just put it on a bit thicker to try to bring the colour of the shirt a little bit closer to a light grey rather than a bluish colour. Um, because on the box art they're kind of a bluey grey colour. We're using that same colour, the Ulthwine grey, to um, base coat the helmet. 
So we will go over the, the higher parts of the helmet with a, a very, very white color. Um, this will just create the high and low points of the helmet. So we're just dry brushing the Kislev flesh here, which is going to give us that mid-tone of the pants, which is kind of like a like a sandy sort of colour. And then we will grab the Vallejo grey sand, and then we will dry brush that on, which will give us the, the higher point of the pants. So I've just taken that same uh, sand grey colour and I'm just going over all the high bits and just making all the high raised bits nice and smooth instead of being a scratchy dry brush. So I've just, as you can see there, just going over all the high bits and making them pop a little bit better. So we've base coated the boots with a brown. Now we're just gonna wash them to get all the low recessed areas. And then we will just dry brush back over with that same brown color. So we're just going in with this very, very white Blanco something or other white um, Just while we're waiting for the boots to dry so we're just gonna get all the high points of the the helmet Just leaving that little bit in the corner near the temples of the head as the uh, base color and That's all it is to the helmet. That's as far as it goes apart from the black visor All right, so we're just going in with the black to make all the vest um, nice and black and then we'll just hit it with a bit of gray on the higher bits. So when we get to the gray, all I've done is just add a bit of that white we had for the helmet to the black on the palette and just get all the raised bits of the vest and um, just just so that they you can see that there's a difference there rather than just being all black.
So here we are, back to the brown. Like I said, we're just dry brushing the brown on. So I've just used a aluminium colour there for the belt buckle and the little pin on his vest and also the scope of the gun. So this is the last part. We're just picking out all the, the higher bits of face, the cheekbone, the nose, the eyebrows. And there we are, that's the uh, finished item with, with his mates all ready to go to war.